So I have three different episodes recorded on Drift and Ruby about deploying your application to Elastic Beanstalk within AWS. I have one back in November 2017, and then I have some additional ones where we look at some additional dependencies, and then also AWS security groups and deploying a Rail 6 application to Beanstalk. And I actually have the Drifter Ruby website running on Beanstalk as well. And recently I looked into upgrading the Ruby version from Ruby 2.6 to 2.7, since that is the latest version that they have supported on AWS Beanstalk. But I did run into several different problems. Even though I'm running the latest version of Rails 6, and all my dependencies are pretty much up to date, I ran into a lot of problems upgrading the Ruby version from Ruby 2.6 to 2.7, and it actually had nothing to do with my application, but everything to do with the new version that AWS has. And I've had Drift and Ruby hosted within Beanstalk, for many years now, and it's always been a great experience with updating my application very easily, as well as just overall maintaining the application. However, I did run into a lot of issues because before I was running the Ruby 2.6 with Puma version 2.12.3. But the latest versions that they have, even with the Ruby 2.6, is using the Amazon Linux 2 version 3.2.3. And if we scroll up a bit more, there's also the Ruby 2.7 with the Amazon Linux version 3.2.3. And so that may not seem like too big of a deal, but there were a lot of changes that I had to do within my application, as well as some other gotchas that I found when deploying. And so in this episode, I want to look at some of the gotchas that I found and some of the different changes that I had to make when I was upgrading my Ruby version from 2.6 using the old Amazon Linux to the Ruby 2.7 Amazon Linux 2. A lot of this is going to be specific to the Beanstalk environment, and there is going to be a lot of overlap from the previous episodes, so I highly suggest you watch those first, and then come and watch this one if you are going to be deploying to Beanstalk with the Amazon Linux 2. And did you know that you can go to railstore.com? to get your own Ruby on Rails t-shirt or your Drift and Ruby t-shirt. So be sure to check that out and use the promo code RUBY for free shipping within the United States. To watch this full episode and more videos, visit driftandruby.com and subscribe to the Pro Membership.